Hello and welcome back to the top 100 maps of all time with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. And at number 23, we have one of those desert maps. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. One of my lesser used catchphrases. A good desert map is a very good map indeed. I say that because a poor desert map is very bland and very boring. But a good one is a good one and what we have here isn't just a desert map it's a coastal map it's got a beautiful beautiful mangrove style coast going on uh, it's a beautiful map from a beautiful creator so let's crack on at number 23 with a 93 percent approval rating as voted by you it's a savvy by or a savvy possibly but a savvy is what i'm going with by gray flame so yes um desert map i think I think probably the thing that most people would find a negative on the map is the amount of desert hills where when you look at them you go, oh, what would you do with them? Or well, maybe you do nothing with them. Or maybe you've got your own ideas for them. There's always an argument for or against anything. Uh, with this particular map, what makes it shine, like I say, is a beautiful coastline, a very strong city build area and if you want to extend into desert hills well you can and so we, we've got everything from like beginner friendly areas all the way up to challenging advanced player areas right so what can i tell you about a savvy well it doesn't require much at all okay uh, eight items from the workshop that is it it is a mass transit map you will need mass transit for this one we're using Owls Los Angeles theme along with the vanilla tropical LUT. Yeah, the vanilla one. Uh, Grey Flame very specifically says, look, this is the best one I found that works for me. So yeah, I would say, yeah, that sometimes a, a vanilla theme will work. Not often, but sometimes they do. It was uploaded to the workshop in November of 2019. It currently has 2,534 subscribers, of which 329 have marked this as a favourite. It has a 4 star rating on Steam for 125 votes, and I reviewed this in episode 783 of What's Map, where I gave it 5 stars for aesthetics, 4 for detail, and 5 for gameplay potential. So, um, Start Square is kind of here. So, I, I see we do have a road that comes in through the Desert Hills. We will have a look at Desert Hills. I don't think there's anything absolutely compelling that says we have to come in through the Desert Hills because they are that compelling. The, the Desert Hills, we will check them out. But I think a more interesting route will be to, just to come along the coast from over here, follow this line across. We're still going through some Desert Hills, just not winding our way through them for ages. We'll come in from this way, we'll hit the start square area, and then we'll just take a look over the rest of the map. I don't think it's going to be the world's longest return review, but um, it should be a good one. Yeah? Good. I'm glad you agree. So, we're uh, down to ground level. Yeah, it's... Um, oh, Grey Flame. What a creator. Have we, have we started? We haven't started the simulation. Simulation's now running. Yeah, what a great creator. Said it several times and I'll say it again. I can't, I can't remember if we've got any more of Grey Flame's work in the top 100. Um, I did take a glance a couple of days ago, but um, it's passed me by. If not, if not, let's just say that obviously Grey Flame, well known for, for their maps, but also well known for their tree sets as well. When I say tree sets, they've, they've gone the full set. <laughs> it on the absolute full set. Yeah, was it the is it the lodge a lodge pole and you've got the um, the I mean I don't know the, the 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 tall West Coast American trees, different different tree sets and um, just a huge selection of them. Uh, what's impressive to me? What's impressive to me was I I knew Grey Flame as a map maker. Don't know them personally never met we're in different continents but um but yeah they um they're uh, i knew them as a high quality map maker and then out of nowhere they start producing high quality trees the level of quality that you would expect from a mr mason and you think look where's this person get these skills from huh you, you, you'd be surely surely if you've got the skills to be able to make high quality trees 
you um you you kind of do with do that, don't you? You don't you don't dip in at the low end like like us schmucks that uh, have no <laughs> have no skills like that. And um, all we can do is use the map editor. I mean that's I think why a lot of us get into map making. We don't know how to well we we maybe know the basics, but we just don't have the skill or the the time to invest into learning the skills properly to do 3D models and there's a lot to learn and but map making it's easy access you and I can get into it that's how I got into it it was just really easy to get started to get any good well that takes a bit of time and a bit of practice clearly but map making well sorry but asset making that is a proper skill a proper where, where's the start square start square is we're not at the start square yet. We're going to keep going. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's I think one of the one of the great things with City Skylines was it did give you an asset editor, although that was mostly for putting props on buildings that already existed. But the map editor just opened up a whole world, or literally made it possible to open up a whole new world of our own creations and as a subgenre. <laughs> Subgenre that I've really enjoyed being a part of. Anyways, um, elevated highway over Waterfield Roundabout. I mean, how often do you see this? Don't say every day because if you if you say that, you're either living somewhere where there is one, or you're lying. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, down here we have this. This was the start square, wasn't it? Yes, I'm pretty, pretty dang sure we are. Oh look, hang on, this one was from Grey Flame for me. I'm sure it's the Bomb Bomb B intersection. There we are. Uh, anyway, yes, we have a Rune the Boot, a Rune the Boot down here to get you started. Um, like I say, as I said at the beginning, it's um, beginner friendly, but also. We'll have a look at those hills in a minute. Those ain't easy hills to build into. So it's not just beginner friendly, it's also challenging for the advanced players also. Here's your custom bridge. Oh, look, at this is such an amazing bridge. I'm surprised more people haven't used this. This is spectacular. That is absolute. Teddy Radko, if you're watching, I challenge you to build this in vanilla. <laughs> Look, look I'm a, I'm, I am only teasing, of course. I know you can, but I also know it would take a lot of time and effort to do well. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just teasing. You don't have to. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> it's my little, it's a bonbon joke. Just ignore me, okay? Just having a moment. I know you can do it, and I know you would do it. You probably will now. But I, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only teasing. Just don't, okay? <laughs> There's just no need. Just ignore me. Bomb bomb being silly. Right. Anyway, um Buildable space. Look at that. Look at all of this area here. Big grid city, if you like. All of this very, very accessible. Though we've got different textures, still very flat. Then we have Oh, was this the did I test this map for the for the river? I think I did, did I not? I think this is that map where I I saw this and I wondered what would happen if we put a spawn point up here. Because this is clearly a river, a dry river, right? What would happen if we filled this up with water and let it run down and Check out the original review. Link is in the description, okay? I'm pretty sure I did exactly this because I remember the lake here didn't link up as a di that wasn't an exact river. It was it was a it was close. It was close. But this lake here didn't quite link up as I hoped it would. It wasn't bad. But it, look, it's it's a work of fiction just ignore that oh i just love the <coughs> i just love the thought of um 
creators go into such an extreme level that you can't pick up on all the nuances. Anyway, speaking of going to the next level, here we go. Let's go into the hills. So all this area over here is, I'm, yeah, inverted commas, wasted space. Space that is nothing. Space is desert hills, desert mountains. You're not going to do anything over here. You're not supposed to do anything over here, but I'd be interested to know if anybody has. There's room in here to do something. A small mining town or, I don't know, a secret military base or something. I think that could be an interesting build over there. And then over this way where we have the, um, the secondary river coming down, the dry river. And then we have the road that heads off. This is the rail. Um, but we have the road that heads off in through the valley up this way around the um around this mountain and then of course very high standards going up off to the edge of the map this is the route that we could have followed decided not to quite glad i decided not to because that's fine i mean it's perfectly perfect but it would have been the hell hell of a drive to get, well, we would have come down here, we would have gone around that way, and then around this way, and it would have been, it would have been a long intro, right? Right, okay, well, we've had a look at that. Let's have a look at this coast, because it's the coast is the jewel of this map. And we just got lots of beautifully detailed islands, like these. Look at the texture work, look at the tree work, We've got mangrovey type wetland areas. You may look at these trees and go, oh, they're too much underwater. Well, kind of. But the aesthetic really works. I'm not worried. Yeah, it's not a question of um, these trees have got their trunks on. I'm not that worried about it. If it looks right, it is right. And that's exactly what we have here. If you have one single tree in the water, just looks silly while well, that is a drowned tree these these are detailing trees just look at the natural work here it's so good next level good it's so pretty as obviously you guys agree and look at the underwater sand detailing just a little bit of a um, little bit of a trail dragged out here and there like slug trails beautiful um, this again, look at the old um, the sand work here. It's just inspired and beautiful and a great design. That is, that's quality. True artist, a true artist is what we have here. And then the sand heading up from the south here, up into the buildable zone again, the start square area over here. And then we have what is sort of like um it's not a river delta but the, you know the wetland area that does extend down from the main river so an extended delta or i'm sure it probably has a name it probably has a name down here but um yeah it's quality 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 i can't say it enough can i we do have a secondary secondary little bridge down here beautiful little bridge there it's all it's all just sublime sublime everything about this map is sublime you guys rated it 93 percent i can't argue i've got nothing to argue against that at all uh, and i think it still holds up the standards still hold up today plus we had no floating rocks or tree trunks today no no floating props first one in a few days that we've managed to actually have a clean load on so that's good also but anyway there you go a savvy by a gray flame the 23rd best map of all time as voted by you and we're getting close to that top 20 top 20 begins next week but still two more to squeeze in this week and they're both by the same creator so watch out for that one 
Well, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. A big shout out to the Bomb Bomb Buddies on Patreon, the YouTube membership, for supporting the channel. You guys are the very, very best, and I love you very, very much. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.